So I think we actually have a van, the first one I've seen, that's on display and it looks like a Winnebago. So let's take a look at it and see. This is Stranger Palooza, and we're at the 2022 SEMA show. And we're actually, I think, is this the Overland uh, section? Kind yeah, of, we're headed towards yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, so we're in the Sea Sucker, right? That's the Sea Sucker. Sea Sucker. And I think you guys are in Florida, if I'm we not mistaken. We are. We're based in Bradenton, Florida. Boom, there you go. I want to remind you that we have these Vanasaur t-shirts and a new one is out. This is Campfire by Moonlight. New Vanasaur t-shirt, that's how you pronounce that if you're a fan of Class B camper vans, whether it's Sprinter, Promaster, or the Transit. You can get these t-shirts, show your love for that, and support Stranger Palooza. And we don't have any like logos or anything like that on it. Plus, you can get Stranger Palooza t-shirts. If you look down here in YouTube, there's a store down there. You can check out the store, get this and other designs. And from Lola and myself, who did all the work designing this, uh, thanks very much. See you on the next one. So Florida company, and you guys have a very cool Winnebago Solus here. Mm -hmm. This is Jen. Hi. And Jen, can you hey give guys. us a rundown of not only the Solus, but I see that you guys have some really cool uses. Yes. Uh, for any van, really, yeah, right? Yeah, so. really, just about any van. So the beautiful thing about Sea Sucker is that we create vacuum-mounted accessories so that you don't have to permanently drill into your vehicles. Way back in the day, 17 years ago, we started as a marine company trying to keep people from drilling holes in their boats. Yeah. And now we're learning that, I mean, really a lot of those marine accessories are really multidisciplinary. A lot of people are using them in van, overland, off-road, and RV, and camping yes. in a big way. Right, I've big seen you guys at, uh, at this show at SEMO doing yep. a lot of things of how you get your bicycles up there. Yep, yep. So I know your stuff is really tough. Yes. And uh, we ourselves have a van. So uh, yeah, give us the rundown. Yeah, let, let see let just me, a lot me, of stuff, yeah. Let me show you. So, um, so we do everything from, like you'll see here, this is like a basic utility hook, just keeping bags off the ground, cool. to actually my favorite thing to put on the side of the van is right. gonna be the, the waistband. Yes. Um, so this keeps your trash up, but the cool thing about the four ocean bag, also like wet towels, wet mm -hmm. suits, that kind of thing too, can go in there and that's machine washable, oh, cool. which is really, really nice. Good idea, yeah, this whole, this is almost like a yeah. little kitchen. This is, yeah, we actually call this our kitchen station. So mm -hmm. um, we have a full kitchen setup. A lot of people have water lines too. You can actually hook up your water line here as well, prepare food, makes it mm -hmm. super easy just to give you that extra tabletop that oftentimes you're missing outside. Right. You don't have to bring a whole collapsible table yeah, with you. absolutely. And the beautiful thing about this is that it all comes apart and stores flat so okay. you don't have to take up a bunch of storage uh, either and this is, is food great. safe i'm assuming food safe okay. which is great, great. yeah this is yes. hdpe um uv grade so you know it's gonna what, work what does something like this cost if you don't mind me asking no of course this goes for um 249 is this, okay. whole, this whole set, set. the okay. whole set everything you see here um you can break it up into different pieces as well and add on as you go, but full set 249 retail okay. on, on csucker.com. Right, yeah. um, so in addition to stuff like this, we also have things like our tablet mounts, electronic mounts. So actually you can go ahead and just attach your tablet to the back of this just like you How see here. How does it connect to the back? Is that also something? Yeah, something? yeah. Everything we do is okay. going to be vacuum mounted. So let me actually oh, I see. show so, you. Okay. So you, you need a special a case? Yep. Just, just a, a clear case to go on the back. Oh, okay. You're just going to place it just like that. And then you're going to pump until that orange indicator band disappears. Mm -hmm. And just like that, one of these four and a half inch cups, 120 oh, wow. pounds of pull strength. Oh cool, so I could so, put cameras on there. <laughs> yeah, you can put cameras yeah. on there. So just like 120 that. 120 pounds, you said. 120 right? pounds of pull strength in one of these four and a half inch cups. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna pump until that orange indicator band is mm -hmm. gone. Yeah. And then it's not going anywhere. Yeah. What do you call them? Vacuum, vacuum suction mounts? mounts? Va yeah. Vacuum mounts. Yeah, I know those can hold bicycles on Teslas and stuff yes, like that. Yes, so exactly. they're pretty, yeah, they're pretty so tough. So they're, they're gonna be great to hold your to hold your <laughs> tablets. Yeah. Um, in addition to, to the tech accessories, again, 
we kind of want you to be able to make the side of your RV or camper or mm -hmm. van or Jeep like exactly the way you want it. So right. if you're setting up for, for cooking and you want a paper towel holder, if you're just mm -hmm. like sitting out and you want cup mm -hmm. holders, like yeah. you can move them exactly This where really caught my eye that you put it on the door. I'm not gonna close the door. Well, you probably you have it locked. Yeah, uh, is yeah. it locked? Yeah, but the fact that you can just slide Yeah, this. go ahead, you can oh, you can slide yeah. it closed yeah. just like that. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's and a good use right there, yeah. yeah You're always amazing. looking for extra space and stuff. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, in That's addition really cool. to that, new for us this year is our satellite yeah. mount. For Starlink. Um, for Starlink. Or, so do you so you have this whole extending arm? Yeah, the, the whole extending oh. arm. A lot oh. of people don't want to have their Starlink out permanently, want to have it be able to easily come off and on. This is extendable, right. so you can do that and you can just keep extending it depending on how high you want it. Oh, okay. But this is really, really easy to use and we're super excited oh, about pretty, our Starlink. Yeah, that's all pretty not, good. Not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, and we have Starlink. Yeah, the higher up you can get it, the better. Yeah, the higher up you yeah. can get it, the better for sure. Right. And super easy to attach. Do you know how far up that goes? How many feet um, is that? Do you know? so the, the mount itself starts at, um, this starts at, I think it's 60 inches, but then okay. you can add on in 12 inch increments. Oh, okay. So you can go up 72 if you're feeling like you yeah. really want to get up there. You can even go oh, okay. all the way up um, to like 84 inches. Okay, if what you would want. this mount uh, be? Like so the cost, -wise? the cost wise, this mount goes for 249 with okay. all of the extension you see here. Okay, cool. So that is 249 retail. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Binoculars pocket for oh, is that what this is? It's actually binoculars pocket, okay. which some people do bring RV camping. I just like it to just collect all of the things you don't want in your pockets. Right. So this is just kind of a everything yeah. holder. It's how yeah. we use it. Yeah, inside. Uh, you can use that inside and outside. You can use it inside and outside. Yeah. Um, and then. Let's go around here. Oh, there's still stuff. Toilet paper. Toilet I saw paper. paper towel. Yeah, toilet paper yeah. and paper towel. Skis. This is uh, for skis. Boards. Um, shovels, well, shovel, so. every anything you can think of, even things like um, I always find it super helpful to have handles. Oh, okay. Um, my fiance is um, six foot seven. He happens to always mount things way too tall for me. <laughs> so um, being able to actually like right. go up and grab is really nice, especially okay. if you're like wanting to pop up the top if you need to get up there to to access the roof. Honestly, yeah. like balancing on the wheel itself can be a little bit sketchy. I love to have. Oh, so you could put a couple of these. You could put a couple Almost of have those. Almost a ladder. Yeah, but just just to kind give of, you that extra yeah. support, you okay. know. Other things for us, like we do have our rod holder here, but actually, I want to show you it on the gladiator. Okay. Uh, I know the always important for folks when when you camp out and you want to get that flag going. So we do have. Um, flag mounts that are super easy oh, to nice. use and, yeah. and mount just like that. We have our American flag here. Absolutely. It's important to note that everything you see here in the Sea Sucker booth is made in the U.S. So we right. have a 20,000 square foot manufacturing facility based in Bradenton where all our employees are, oh. all under one roof. That's where we oh, make We have everything. to come and visit. Yeah, I get, you guys are based. We're just outside of Gainesville. Oh, yeah. So, oh, my gosh. You guys will have to come in. Yes, we'll have to do a absolutely. whole thing. We'll have to do a yeah. whole thing. Oh, so I like this. This is, this is a good solution, too, yep. for your... Uh, for your recovery boards. Yeah, recovery. Max traps. Yep. And yeah. Oh, even... Little, yep, even the Rotopax mounts yeah. for fuel, water, oh, cool. anything like that. Um, Would you use these going down the road? Yeah, so okay. actually the Gladiator that you see here, we drove all the way from Florida. Mm -hmm. So it went, came all the way with everything mounted the way you see oh, it cool. now. Okay, nice. Yeah. yeah, I just did that trip myself. Like, yeah. I think 2,450. Well, I went from Florida to California. Okay, so. yeah. 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 Um, we're headed the way back, too, so we're going um, We're going and doing Zion, Moab, and then we're going to Colorado for oh, a nice. few days. Where I won't be camping because I'm from Florida and I don't... It's right. going to be too cold for me. But then when we get down back to the Ozarks, I'll be camping out again. You're going to be in the van. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure you've got heat in there. <laughs> So cool. Do you have any other solutions we can take a look at here on the glider? Um, I'm trying to think. Anything else? I mean, yeah. So here's another. So so is this that same table it's or a different? It's the same different? table, oh, okay. but different color. One, 
It's it's in black and okay. it's the exact same table you saw in the van mm -hmm. in black and then we also have um, a trash can mount that's right. attachable as well. Like yeah. you said, very modular. You can kind of yeah. build it to to whatever you need for your particular use. Yeah, that's cool. What colors do you guys have? Black and white for just about for everything. Okay. Um, we have a few. Every once in a while, we'll do a special line and we'll maybe introduce like a blue color or something mm -hmm. like that. It usually means we're in partnership mm -hmm. with with some other company. Oh, I see. Like like as an exclusive color. color for them. Yeah. Okay, yeah, very cool. White and black is what everything kind of comes standard with. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Is that... Okay, you get into the B-roll? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Getting the shovels, the axe up there, more roto packs. Um, this looks... I don't know if that... Is that a mirror? You have a Jeep mirror. Um, okay. And then up here we, we do have our crossbars. There you go. Yeah. Um, and what's exciting yeah. about uh, that has won four different new product awards here at SEMA this year. Okay. Those crossbars. Oh, cool. So I see there's, a, there's even like a light bar up there. Yeah, too. light bar. Um, light bar mounts are incredibly popular for us. A lot of people don't want to, again, like have to permanently mount um, a lot of their big lighting solutions. And we provide a really good temporary lighting solution, which is also great if you ever want to move it around the vehicle. So like, yeah, this is really nice when you're running to have that extra, to have the extra light. But sometimes if you're camped out and you want to attach a, the light to like the back of the vehicle to give yourself a little bit of lighted space <laughs> when you're actually camping out and enjoying yourself, yeah. You don't have to be permanently fixtured to one particular part of the vehicle. Right. Yeah, exactly. I think that's a great idea. And then it just has a pigtail so you can connect yep. it somewhere. Yep, exactly. Um, exactly. Yeah. All right, very cool. Um, and I'll say, you know, one of our one of the big questions we get from folks is like, is this gonna damage my surface? Is this gonna damage my paint? And what and what we tell people is actually this is the safest solution to keep your exterior from being marked up. Everything we do is non-marking. Mm -hmm. I mean a lot of people are using these like magnet mounts and these other things that'll end up actually mm -hmm. damaging your paint or it's aluminum and it doesn't work at all but yeah right. all of our Won't resins stick. non marking and all of them are UV stabilized everything we did was intentional to work on boats and in a marine environment and a saltwater environment okay. so we've really overbuilt everything with stainless steel um, hardware all of our resins are UV stabilized up to oh, 10 okay. years I mean so, really well so built. under there, so stainless steel hardware. Yep, stainless okay. steel hardware. And then, like, let's say this hook, what would that be made of? The the hook itself is made out of um, HDPE or like starboard oh. material. Okay, I see. Um, and again, that is UV stabilized and resistant. Same with the the actual rubber portion Around of here. the vacuum pad itself. Oh, okay. All of that is UV. <laughs> so it can stand up to the sun. Like in stand Florida, our side. sun is different. <laughs> in Florida, our sun is pretty intense. Yeah. Um, it's actually yeah. UV rated up to ten years. So this okay. can sit in the sun. For, for 10 years and I'll say I've seen seen the mounts that have been sitting in the sun for 10 years and they work fantastically okay. it's just like it's amazing our products work not just for a few years I mean decades okay very cool okay. so with that my question would be uh, what's your warranty and all that kind of stuff so we have um, a limited lifetime warranty so mm -hmm. we're gonna protect against any sort of like manufacturers defects anything like that but the other cool thing about our product, everything's pretty modular. So like, mm -hmm. let's say that like, you're just camping out and you accidentally like, say you accidentally like step on the pump or something. All of these parts are super easy to remove and super easy to replace. Mm -hmm. And all of those replacement parts are available online. So like, oh, okay. let's say you, you, you step on the pump, you break it, mm -hmm. you know, that's $9 on our website to replace. Oh, okay. So everything is super easy and super modular. Yeah, so let's get that close up. I'll let you be the hand model. Oh, You've okay. got better looking hands than I do. Do I actually? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, just put it back in there and then show yeah. us the pumping. Like that, and then you're just gonna pump right back yeah. in. So does it help to put some moisture back it here? It does, okay. it does. We do yeah. recommend that you wet the cup mm -hmm. um, before attaching, just mm -hmm. to give it an extra seal. We also recommend that you wipe down the surface, mm -hmm. just to keep it, make sure it's clean before you okay. actually mount the surface, itself, mount to the surface itself. Okay. Yep, just like that, and big heavy backpack with laptops and camera and everything yeah, else. Yeah, that's there. great. Not a problem. Awesome.
Jen, thanks so much. Well, thank you for coming by, guys. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, we'll, we're definitely going to do more stuff yes. with you guys. So, if folks want to find out more, where can they go? How can they, you know? So, go to seasucker.com, S E A S U C K E R.com, or hit us up on any of our social channels. We're very active Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, all of them. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, guys, there you go. The first van at SEMA show, and it happened to be a sea sucker and a Winnebago Solus. There you go. Thanks, Jen. Thanks. We're out. Peace. Ooh. Thanks, guys. That was you got so it? fun.